TV. We are Jay and Laura LaFoon here to answer your questions about marriage and relationship. Honey, do you have this week's this question? This week's question is a great one, and I, I think it probably impacts a number of people because we live in such a transient society where people are always moving to new locations, new jobs. Listen here. We need space from our kids for just a little while. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> we got lots of space now, honey. Uh, we cannot afford babysitters. Our family does not live in our area or anywhere close. The kids are young and they need us, but we need time alone. I remember this question because it comes from a family who's just moved away from their family. They've just moved into a new area, so they haven't met anybody yet. And he's a pastor. And I believe that kind of... There's the whole we can't afford it thing. (laughs) Well, that's the whole we can't afford it. And we don't know anybody. And we don't want to just assume that because we're a pastor and a pastor's wife, that somebody will babysit for us. I think this is a very unique situation. It's a a great situation. And and I think for this guy, because he's a pastor, you are in a unique situation. I think you can be vulnerable with your congregation. And you can, you know, I I think one of the best things that pastors do is show their congregation that, hey, we're real. Mm -hmm. And we have real needs and, and, and we're real people. And here's our situation. Um, is there anybody that, that might be willing to babysit for us for even just an hour so we can go grab a cup of coffee and start small? I guarantee you, I guarantee you there is a grandma in that room <laughs> whose grandkids don't live close that will, will, will jump at the chance to come and be with your child. And, and if you feel bad about asking somebody to do it for free, because that's what you need to do, just say, is there somebody who would volunteer? Then you know what, then have them over for dinner. It's a great opportunity to meet people in your church bake them some cookies, do something in return that's not going to cost you a lot of money, but does say thank you in that good way. And also, I think another um, way you can maybe look for some babysitters is as a new person in this church, as a new person in this area, seek out those people who have young children. Seek out, make friends with those people, and then you can kind of start trading, swapping off child care issues. So, uh, a very unique situation, but yet a lot of good, a lot of good stuff there for all of us. Hey, we are Jay and Laura LaFoon. We're here for to answer your questions about marriage and relationships. Send them to us. We want to answer them. Send them by email, Facebook, any way you can get them to us. We'll answer your questions. <laughs>